Hi, I'm Nika Cobbett. Um, I work for WGM Literary based in Manchester. I'm a junior agent as well, so it means I, I get the lovely pile of the lovely task of going through the um, the submissions that come into the inbox, which is actually kind of like a treasure hunt, so I kind of like it. Um, also, I yeah, just work with my clients, making sure that they're on track, um, they're submitting where they need to submit. Um, yeah, um, so I I met Madeline Cotter, she's an agent at WGM. I met her through doing my um, master's at Oxford. I was doing it in creative writing um, and we had to do like a placement. So I'm like, hey, Madeline. Um, and it just worked out so well that I stayed there. If you want to be a writer, the best thing you can do is just write. <laughs> um, make sure you don't neglect your editing either. Like if you write a first draft and go, oh, I'm a writer, like you can't, generally a first draft, even if you're a great writer, is going to be bad. It, it's just how it is. Um, you need to edit. Quite an original voice as well. Like I think I like somebody who sounds like them. Um, I love it when a writer can do that thing where they, they point out something that we all sort of know in the back of our heads, but they can put it into words. I love when a writer can do that. So generally we'll work predominantly on the, um, like say they've submitted a novel, or we'll, we'll work predominantly on that novel for the first, I'd say six months. Generally is a rough amount of time of, of us being together and then we'll look at submitting it. Um, beyond that, then we start looking at like what path they would like to go down, um, what other areas they might like to work in, if there are any, um, and we just look at getting them further down that path, producing more work essentially, just produce. Oh, we had a really good one about, um, it was a lady who had a bit of a rough childhood, she, um, child abuse. But essentially the book talked about like, you know, why people wait as long as they do to come forward and particularly to, to go to the authorities about it, which I think obviously is really relevant with the whole Brett Kavanaugh thing going on at the moment. Uh, that was great. I think you get a much more local flavor from their writing. So I like it when something's quite entrenched in a place, like the place is a character in itself. So I had a pitch earlier about um, a, a sort of a family crime drama, but it was set in Bedford and he had all these like really strong images of what Bedford was and what it meant to the characters. And I think that that really made it seem such a real story. I think it's gone really well. Yeah, everyone's been very Nervous, <laughs> I think, is the main word for most people um, pitching. Um, but generally, they've all got like really well thought, thought out um, ideas and they know what they want to do, which is great to see. Um, and I think as well, just meeting people that you wouldn't in London is great. I think it helps aspiring writers to meet people in the industry and it makes them, it breaks down some walls, I think. And it, it like, I think there's, Maybe it's true in some instances, maybe not, but I think there's this idea of gatekeepers and, um, oh, I'll never be able to do it because I don't know the right people. And I think, I think meeting people who are in the industry, it, it just helps break down that idea a little bit. Mm -hmm.